Hello again, B here, and welcome back to biology. We are getting ready to start our unit on cell processes. You learned all about cells in the previous unit, how big they are, different types of cells, the parts of cells, but in this unit, we'll focus on what cells actually do. One important thing to think about as we go through this unit is how connected all of the processes we'll talk about really are. And that's because living things are very connected to each other. For example, what are some important things you've done today that have been keeping you alive? You've definitely been breathing. What do you breathe in? Oxygen, of course. Where do you think that oxygen came from? If you said plants, you're right. And what about the carbon dioxide you breathe out? It might seem like a too good to be true coincidence, but plants breathe it in and make more oxygen for us. But I bet you've done something besides breathe. Did you eat anything? Where did that food come from? No, I mean, where did it come from before you bought it at the grocery store? At some point, all of the food you eat was part of a living organism. Humans and other animals are heterotrophs, meaning that's the only way we can get food to use for energy. We have to eat other living things. As we go through this lesson, we'll look at some of the processes our cells go through to keep us alive, and we'll also look at how these processes connect us to other living things. One of the most important processes that happens on our planet is photosynthesis. We'll look at the exact chemical equations and reactions involved in the next lesson, but for now, just know that photosynthesis is what turns inorganic carbon dioxide into organic glucose. Remember that glucose is a type of carbohydrate, one of those important macromolecules you've learned about already. Not only does photosynthesis provide these organic molecules that animals need to eat, but a waste product of photosynthesis just happens to be oxygen. Yep, plants just throw away that oxygen like yesterday's trash. Lucky for us humans that needed to breathe. Actually, plants do use a small amount of oxygen, but not nearly as much as gets produced in photosynthesis. So we get to keep the extra for ourselves. All living organisms use oxygen in a process called cellular respiration. You may think of breathing when you hear the word respiration, and breathing is definitely involved, because that's how we get the oxygen necessary for this process. But there is a lot more that goes on behind the scenes, or in your cells, than you might realize between every breath. This process uses the oxygen we breathe and the glucose from the food we eat to produce energy. This energy allows us to run and talk and do all the things that we want our bodies to do. It also does things you may not always be aware of, like keeping you warm or balancing the amount of water and nutrients in your body. Our body's ability to do this is called homeostasis. The energy to maintain homeostasis and do all of this other stuff comes from the metabolism of the food you eat. Your cells break down carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins so that they can rebuild them into the molecules we need, giving us energy along the way. None of these processes could be carried out if not for our cells. But cells don't last forever. To make sure that our body always has healthy, functioning cells, they go through a cycle of division and replication. This allows us to make cells to replace old, dying ones, and to increase our total number of cells when we are growing. Like everything else in our body, this cycle has to exist in a delicate balance and is controlled by some of the same types of molecules that you've already learned about. As you go through the unit, don't forget to complete the activities in the PDFs after each video. 
These pages have additional information about the topic of the lesson, as well as activities and experiments to complete. You will need the information from these activities to successfully complete the assessments for each lesson. The PDF that you will find attached to this lesson has all of the PDF materials for the whole unit. Don't worry, there is nothing you need to complete in the PDF for this video. Just download the PDF or print it out so that you have it ready for the rest of the unit. If you do forget or your pages get lost, you can also find the PDF for each individual lesson after the lesson video. I can't wait to start telling you all about the things our cells do to keep us alive. Until then, remember that biology isn't just science, it's the way of life. Hey, hey.